What's going on everybody? We got a couple real good buddies that are amazing when it comes to doing wax canvas stuff. Mitchell over at coloradobushcraft.com can make some amazing, amazing pieces of gear, uh, especially with the, when it comes to either leather goods or wax canvas goods. Showed his products a ton of times. Uh, then my other good buddy, uh, Dominic Minichetti, he likes to do little little uh, pouches, kits, things like that all the time. So I wanted to kind of mess around with a little wax canvas just to see what I could do. And bought my wife a bracelet and it came in this little uh, canvas bag. And it got me thinking, does this work the same as, you know, regular canvas stuff? So I'm going to play around with it and see if I can make a wax canvas bag out of this. I'll bring you guys along with me. All right, so first off, what we're gonna be doing, so I got this little uh, metal pan, had it for a while, got it at the uh, Goodwill for like a dollar or something. And I'm going to take some wax uh, from like these vault of candles and stuff like that. And I'm gonna melt it on my uh, little burner here. And uh, get it all set up. And, uh, you know, go from there with everything. So let me get this done and I'll uh, bring you guys back. One of the things that I learned in the Army is if you can't get something to work, get a hammer. If you can't get it, that to work then, get a bigger hammer. All right, now that I got all the wax in there, I'm going to turn on my stove. And while I could use the little igniter that's on it, I'd rather use one of these Nathan 4071 Fair Rush. Now I'm gonna let that uh, melt up. Now honestly, the best way to be doing this would be using a uh, double boiler uh, setup where I had another pot filled with water and doing it that way. But, I don't have it. So while that's going, I'm going to show you the other uh, things that I've got. Now Dominic had a really good video on how to do this. And this is just me playing around more than anything. So, the theory that I have behind it is that I'm going to take my little bag that I have here. I've cut this little piece of cardboard to basically fit inside this bag. And it fits in there, uh, it's in there pretty good. And so then, as this gets uh, all done, I'm going to paint, lack of a better word, this side, let it dry off, then I'll paint this side. And then move the uh, cardboard up some and get the top. So, we'll see how it goes. This uh, wax is already almost done. I just got a regular uh, regular paintbrush here. And uh, we'll see if this actually works the way I'm hoping it does. <laughs> Let this, uh, I'm gonna let this dry, and then I will uh, bring you guys back for the other side. All right, this feels like it's dry, so I'm gonna flip it over and paint the back side. Basically, a rinse and uh, rinse and repeat uh, scenario here. I'm going to let this cool off for a while and then I'll bring you guys back. Alright, so I'll let this dry. It's nice and dry. <laughs> I don't really know what the uh, 
standard is to know whether this worked or not. But uh, it seemed like it did. As Dominic shows in his videos, it's nice and crunchy and I've got all the little streaks and stuff like that. Trying to get the uh, piece of cardboard out. It's pretty interesting. Let's see if I can just pull it down. You know, I can definitely feel the wax all the way, uh, all the way through and everything. So, I think it worked. Only time will tell. Uh, you know, whether it is uh, water resistant or not. But it was something, something to do. Something different. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if you can. Subscribe if you want to. Please share. Sharing is a big thing. Let's, we're one big community here. Let's share things out. And I will talk to you guys later.